Okay, so I don't even know where to start. This trip has probably been the <laughs> worst trip I've ever taken. Um, the flight was fine, getting between the airports was fine, getting to my Airbnb was fine, the Airbnb was fine, minus this morning when the power had to go out for a little while. And it kind of ruined my entire day in a way. But I'm not really mad because I needed a break. But y'all, because this is the first time I'm talking to y'all, I'm in LA for another couple hours. It is currently 1.30 Pacific Standard Time and my flight leaves 9 o'clock, 9 something tomorrow morning. This is going to have to be a story time and honestly, I'm not even... I can't blame anybody but myself because this trip in itself was a product of rushed planning more so than poor planning yeah this this trip was just a bust it was a waste of well I don't want to say it was a waste of time because this was my first time on the west coast but I just don't know this trip has been hectic. I slept through, okay, so let me give y'all a run, a play-by-play -play of how everything has been going since I got here. So I got here on Thursday, it was like midday over here when I got here, it was like one something. Got here, the Lyft driver took me on like a little mini tour during my route to the Airbnb because he was like, oh, this is your first time. You know, let me give you a tour. And I was like, okay, cool. He seemed like a chill person. I wasn't concerned with getting kidnapped, so, hey. <laughs> so we did that, got to the Airbnb. I didn't go anywhere the first day because I was jet lagged. I was tired. I just stayed in here, called my mom, let her know I was here, called my sister, let her know I was here, and a couple other people that I had my own location shared with, let them know I was okay. Then I made it to the Airbnb. Host gave me a tour of the place, which I'm not gonna give you all a tour but I will insert the pictures of the property, of like the room and like, you know, so y'all can see where I stayed. Obviously it'll be okay because I'll be gone for like a week or so before this video even gets posted. <laughs> so I'm not really concerned for my safety. But please do not come and attack these people. I won't post the address, so if you just so happen to see this property listed and you are interested in staying, I 100% recommend it. It's a very nice property. If you're solo traveling or you're coming with like a couple, um, maybe one kid, I uh, wouldn't any more than that. And definitely no more than, no more than two, maybe three people could fit it. But yeah, so first I didn't really do anything. I ordered some Indian food to the Airbnb and that was pretty much it. I fell asleep around like seven o'clock which it was really 10 o'clock which is what my body is used to going to sleep at so i took went to sleep and, I, and then i woke up six o'clock the next morning and i just kind of laid in bed i called a couple people and then after i got the phone i got up and got dressed yesterday i went and got some in and out for lunch what else did I do yesterday? I went to the um, Glendale Galleria. That mall is like three stories. I think it's, it's technically three stories. If you think about it, um, it's a very nice mall. When I come back, I definitely will be going back to that mall. It's amazing. I've been to a lot of malls and none like that one. It's really good. Then, 
after that my original plan was to stay in Glendale until my reservation that night at nine but I should have listened to my mom and sister when they were like nah girl you know you're not finna stay out there for no seven hours so I ended up lifting back to the Airbnb chilling for a little while and then I left it back to Glendale for my reservation at Den Typhoon. All I'm gonna say is y'all lied to me. TikTok lied to me about Den Typhoon. I'll make that a story time in my next like day in a life or like my weekly vlog or something like that. But y'all lied to me about Den Typhoon. Every one of y'all on TikTok that said Den Typhoon was good, y'all lied and I do not trust y'all. But that was, mm -hmm, that was that. Then today, like I mentioned at the beginning of this, it kind of got ruined, but I'm, I'm not really mad about it, honestly. So I woke up six, I think. Oh, I woke up six o'clock and ordered breakfast. And I've been wanting pancakes. Like I was, when I get home, I'm gonna make some pancakes. I was wanting pancakes so bad. So I finally was searching for like an hour to find someone whose pancakes looked good and worth my money and I ordered them. I ordered a pancake combo, it came with two pancakes, two eggs, sausage, bacon, and toast I think. Something, it was like a nice combo. Why wouldn't the food get delivered? It's two steak and egg breakfast sandwiches. And I went to go have them re-delivered because I didn't even want my money back. I wanted my food. <laughs> I wanted my food. So I went to go click re-deliver and I accidentally clicked refund, which I mean, okay, I got my money back, but now I'm stuck with these two steak and egg sandwiches that I did not want. And like, I ate the steak off of one of them and like the top bun, but the other one is gonna end up getting thrown in the trash because I did not order that and I did not. So I'm just saying I'm not gonna eat something I didn't want. But yeah, so that's that. So I was already upset about that. So I laid back down, called my sister, talked to her for a little while. Then that was when the host texted me. It was like, hey, power's gonna be out around 10 for a couple hours. I was like, okay, that's fine. I don't plan on getting up and going anywhere. So I was like, well, do you know when roughly it'll be back? It was like, yeah, it should be back around like 12. I was like, okay, that's not bad. I can wait two hours. Two hours of power just got back like 30 minutes ago and as I told y'all it was 1 30 which I'm honestly not mad about I needed a chill day in the bed after all this ripping and running because honestly that's all I've been doing since I left home early Thursday morning so it is 1 30 I have not had a decent meal all day because like I said I just picked up the steak sandwich I ate a little bit of the leftovers that I bought home from Den Tai bought back from Den Tai Fung what I could manage to eat but yeah, I want either, I want some pizza. I really want pizza, so I'm probably gonna order some pizza. Gonna edit the video that's supposed to be going up this past Sunday by the time you're watching this. I have not started editing it at all. Like, the footage is still on this SD card. So I need to do that. Whenever the Wi-Fi comes back, I need to do a discussion post for my class. It's pretty much go time to get back in my regular daily schedule. But yeah, I'm so sorry to disappoint y'all about this vlog because I, I was so excited to film this video. Like y'all just do not understand how excited I was to film this video and then everything just went. So, I don't know. I do plan on coming back in August of next year. So hopefully that trip will be better since I'm planning it like a little over a little under a year in advance so but right now I'm about to go get washed up because I didn't even get the shower before the power went out so I'm gonna go get washed up put on some loungewear um and just kind of vibe in the room for the rest of the day it's already 1 30 I've got to pack my bag like repack and get ready to go because I'm, I'm leaving here at like 5 15 ish in the morning to get back to LAX so it's honestly probably gonna be when y'all see me again I'm not even going to camp I might get some b-roll um and stuff but like none of the excursions that I had planned I gotta go on I did get my money back for them but like none of the excursions that I had paid for to do that I, I didn't get to do any of them I slept through one of them which that was my fault. I I don't know how that happened, but I slept through the first excursion. And then the other two 
today. Um, I was supposed to do today. But it's okay. I'll be back. I'm pretty sure both, all of that's going to be here. So I will see you all um, probably sometime tomorrow when I'm closing the vlog. Okay, so you're probably like, Brennan, how'd the rest of your trip go? Shut up, Tootie. I think the last time I talked to y'all, I was still stuck in the Airbnb because I didn't get time to wash before the power was cut. And then when it came back on, there wasn't really much time to do anything after I did get washed. So the rest of my trip was a drab. So I just pretty much ordered pizza and stayed in the Airbnb. The rest of the night I cleaned up, I packed, I got some pretty footage of like outside the Airbnb, like on the balcony, but that's pretty much it. The flight back was nice, peaceful, no issues. Um, the drive back, I actually got like drive, drove back home a lot quicker than I thought I was going to, but yeah. So this travel vlog turned out to be a hot mess. I got slight footage of me actually traveling like the actual travel part of the video but as far as like me in California there's pretty much no footage of that but it's okay um, I do plan on going back again so hopefully that time I can get some decent footage for you all but I am so sorry that this one ended up being I'm not enthused because I'm mad. I'm sad. I'm depressed. Shut up, Tootie. Shut up. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for this travel vlog. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all next week with a new video. Bye.